Conditional sentences are relatively easy to understand, but hard to master. What is a condition? A condition in grammar is like a prerequisite. For A to happen, B must happen first. B is the prerequisite or condition. This idea expressed in a sentence is what we call a conditional sentence. So conditional structures are always made using two clauses. One clause expresses the prerequisite and the other expresses the consequence of that prerequisite. Example, if you come late, this is the prerequisite, you won't be able to get in. Result. Si llegas tarde, no podrás entrar. Notice that the order of these two sentences doesn't affect the meaning. So, I could also say, you won't be able to get in if you come late. How many types of conditional sentences are there? There are three main types of conditional sentences, although some grammarians talk about four because they also include the serial conditional. The serial conditional. That is a conditional where there isn't really a condition. Let's see an example. If water reaches 100 degrees Celsius, it boils. Si el agua alcanza los 100 grados, hierve. The structure is if plus subject plus simple present tense plus object plus subject plus simple present tense. As you can observe, in this case, if one thing occurs, the other always occurs too. So, there are no prerequisites. Now, how can you memorize the zero conditional? It is actually very easy to memorize because it is the same structure in Spanish. Suppose you think in Spanish, si no comes, adelgazas. That would be, if you don't eat, you lose weight. As you can see, both sentences go in the simple present tense. Notice that the zero condition is frequently used to describe natural phenomena or general truth. Conditional sentences are categorized according to the possibility that the condition will be fulfilled. Therefore, we have the first conditional. It is quite likely that this condition will be fulfilled. Example. If you work harder, you will earn more money. Si trabajas más duro, ganarás más dinero. Structure. If plus subject plus verb in the present tense plus object plus subject plus will plus verb in the infinitive plus object. As you can see, the difference in a structure with the zero conditional is that the second sentence is with will. Now, how can you memorize the first conditional? Just as with the zero condition, this type of conditional is easy to memorize because it is the same in Spanish. Please note that this type of conditional is much more common that the zero conditional because we use it to describe everyday situations. 
Think of the sentence in Spanish. Si ellos vienen a casa, los invitaré a cenar. If they come round, I will invite them for dinner. Now let's see the second conditional. It is not quite as likely that this condition will be fulfilled. Example, if you worked harder, you would earn more money. Si trabajases más duro, ganarías más dinero. Structure, if plus subject plus verb in the past tense plus object plus subject plus would plus verb in the infinitive plus subject plus object. Notice that in the place of would, we can also find could, should, might, or may. Example, if you came here, you could help me. Now, how can you memorize the second conditional? Remember this rule. When we use the subjunctive in Spanish after if, in English, we use the past tense. For example, si yo comiera, comiese, if I ate. Si él fuera o fuese, if he went. Si ellos viniesen, if they came. Now, what about the verb to be? In this case, use were, even if it is the first or the third person. So it is, if I were young, not if I was young. If he were here, not if he was here. For the second part of the structure, you have to remember that if we place a verb ending in ia in Spanish, then in English we would have to use would, also could, should, might, or may. Examples. Si él estuviera aquí, yo se lo contaría. If he were here, I would tell him. Si lo vieras, deberías decírselo. If you saw him, you should tell him. Now let's see the third conditional. It is not possible to fulfill this condition. This type of conditional is also called past conditional because it refers to something that took place in the past and that now cannot be changed. Example, if you had worked harder, you would have earned more money. Si hubieses trabajado más duro, habrías ganado más dinero. Structure, if plus subject plus past perfect, plus object, plus subject, plus would, plus have, plus past participle of the main verb, plus object. As the third conditional is the most difficult to grasp, we will study the zero, the first, and the second conditional in this lesson, and leave the third conditional and mixed conditionals for the next lesson. Now let's see other conditional terms. Apart from if, we can find other terms that are conditional. These are some examples. In case of, in case she has done it, I will call her. En el caso de que lo haya hecho, la llamaré. As soon as, I'll go there as soon as he tells me. Iré en cuanto me lo diga. Provided that, they'll buy it provided there is money. Ellos lo comprarán siempre y cuando haya dinero. When, when he comes, we will go out. Cuando él venga, saldremos. Unless it is used in negative conditionals. 
I won't do it unless he pays. No lo haré a menos que él pague. When to use commas with conditional sentences? Use comma if the if clause is at the beginning of the sentence. Example, if he comes, comma, tell him to call me. Don't use a comma if the if clause is at the end of the sentence. Example, tell him to call me if he comes. Mastering conditionals, zero, first, and second. One of the prerequisites of mastering the conditional sentences is to master the modal verbs, the past participle of the verbs, and the past perfect. Therefore, it is important that at this point you are more or less comfortable with all these aspects of the English language and more specifically that you know the past participles of the verbs. I have listed the zero, first and second conditionals that can be found in chapters 5 to 19 of your audiobook. Please listen to them and repeat them aloud. If that gentleman is rich, there is no reason not to marry him. If that gentleman is rich, there is no reason not to marry him. If you saw him, you would think he were the most marvelous person in the world. If you saw him, you would think he were the most marvelous person in the world. If he ever hurts you, I will kill him, said the young man. If he ever hurts you, I will kill him, said the young man. If one doesn't speak about them, they haven't happened. If one doesn't speak about them, they haven't happened. If you try to look at it, I will never speak to you as long as I live. If you try to look at it, I will never speak to you as long as I live. I don't know if I really know you. To get an answer, I would need to see your soul. I don't know if I really know you. To get an answer, I would need to see your soul. I have written a letter, and if you don't help me, I will send it. I have written a letter, and if you don't help me, I will send it. If you move, I'll shoot. If you move, I'll shoot. It would be best if you went home and put away that pistol. It would be best if you went home and put away that pistol. If he has hidden himself, it's none of my business. If he has hidden himself, it's none of my business. If he has died, I don't want to think about it. If he has died, I don't want to think about it. What would you say if I confessed that I killed Basil? What would you say if I confessed that I killed Basil? If you knew, you would go. If you knew, you would go. To sum up, there are four types of conditional sentences. Zero, first, second, and third conditional. They are categorized according to the possibility that the condition will be fulfilled. Zero conditional, no condition. Example, if you freeze water, it becomes ice. First conditional quite likely to happen. Example, if they send an email, I will answer them. Second conditional, not very likely to happen. Example, 
If he sold it, I would buy it. Third conditional, impossible. Example, if he had sold it, I would have bought it. Try to memorize them thinking about the equivalences between the Spanish and the English structure. For example, if in Spanish the verb after if is the subjective mood, in English we use the simple past tense. Remember, si ella no viniese, subjunctive, if she didn't come, simple past tense. Homework. Look for conditional sentences in chapter 1 to 4. Try to find conditional sentences with when, unless, in case of, provided. When you find them, listen to them and say them aloud. Translate the sentences that can be found in lesson 16. Once you have corrected them, Say them aloud. 